CBSE Class 12 Practical Skills in Physics Experiment Number Two Prism and Refractive Index 2.1 To determine angle of minimum deviation for a given prism by plotting a graph between angle of incidence and angle of deviation. Aim To determine angle of minimum deviation for a given prism by plotting a graph between angle of incidence and angle of deviation. Materials required Drawing board White sheet of paper Pencil Glass triangular prism Drawing pins Meter scale Graph paper and a protractor Procedure The minimum value of angle of deviation is called angle of minimum deviation. It can be determined by plotting the graph between angle of incidence and angle of deviation. The lowest point of the graph gives the value of angles of minimum deviation. Drawing Incident Ray Fix a white sheet of paper on a drawing board with the help of drawing pins. Draw a straight line XY in the middle of the sheet and make it parallel to the side of the sheet. Mark different points O at suitable distance on line XY. Draw normal to XY at points O as shown in the figure. Draw straight lines PO which would work as incident angle. Draw these lines at different angles ranging from 30 degree to 60 degree for different points O using a protractor. Increase values of angles in small increment of say 10 degree. Put two pins at P and Q as shown in the diagram. Drawing Emergent Ray Now place the prism so that one of its refracting surface like AB of the prism is in line with XY and trace the boundary ABC. Try to see the image of pins P and Q through side AC of the prism such that the tips of the pin P and Q are on the same straight line. Place two pins R and S where image of the line PQ is formed. Tips of pins P, Q, R and S should lie on the same straight line. Measurement of angles of deviation. Remove the prism pins R and S and pins P and Q and encircle their pin pricks. Extend the line PQ to meet at T. With the help of a protractor, measure the angle between RS and PT. This is angle of deviation. Similarly, find angle of deviation for different values of I. Plot a graph for angle I versus D. The lowest value of angle of deviation on graph gives the value of dm. Measure angle BAC in a boundary of the prism. This is angle of prism A. Observations Result, angle of minimum deviation dm is Refractive index of the material of the prism n is Point two, to determine refractive index of a glass slab using a traveling microscope. Aim to determine refractive index of the glass slab using a traveling microscope. Materials required given glass slab, traveling microscope, a marker, lycopodium powder. Procedure The bottom surface of the glass vessel containing a refracting liquid appears to be raised such that apparent depth is less than the real depth. Refractive index of refracting liquid is defined as the ratio of real depth to the apparent depth. Refractive index N is equal to real depth by apparent depth. For accurate measurements of depth, a traveling microscope is used. 
setting up the apparatus. Determine the least count of microscope scale as 1 microscale division minus 1 vernier scale division. Place the travelling microscope on a horizontal table near a window to get sufficient light. Check with the spirit level and make necessary adjustment with leveling screws so that the base of the microscope becomes horizontal. Adjust the position of the eyepiece such that the cross wires are clearly visible. Focusing the microscope on mark. Using the marker pen, put a mark on the sheet of paper. Place the sheet of paper on the horizontal platform of microscope. Adjust the microscope such that the cross of cross wires coincide with the cross mark on the paper. Focus the microscope on the mark. Remove the parallax between cross wires and image of the mark. After that, using the main scale reading MSR and vertical scale reading VSR, note the microscope reading at A. Focusing the microscope through the glass slab. Place the glass slab over the mark on the sheet of paper. The mark would appear to be raised with seen through the glass slab. Move the microscope gradually and gently upward so that the mark is clearly visible and coincides with the cross of cross wires. Using the MSR and VSR, note the microscope reading as B. Focusing the microscope on particles of lycopodium powder. Sprinkle a little amount of lycopodium powder on top of the glass slab. Ensure a thin layer of powder spread over the glass slab. Rise the microscope upward to focus some of the particles clearly and note the microscope reading as C. Invert the glass slab and repeat above steps to take more observation for A, B and C. Difference in reading C to A gives the real depth whereas B to A gives the apparent depth. Observations and Calculations Result The refractive index of given glass lab by using travelling microscope is 2.3 To find the refractive index of a liquid by using a convex lens and a plane mirror. Aim To find the refractive index of a liquid by using a convex lens and a plane mirror. Materials required Convex lens Plane mirror Iron stand with clamp, an optical needle, plumb line, given liquid that is water, dropper, a meter scale, spirometer. Procedure When a convex lens is placed on the plane mirror with its axis normal to the mirror, object and image formed both will be at the principal focus of the lens. When a liquid is put between the lens and the mirror, it forms a plano concave lens. Determination of approximate focal length of convex lens. Select a distance object which is in bright light that is, for example, a small tree or a tall tree or an electric pole. Keep the lens in such a way that you get an image of a distant object on the screen or wall. Measure the distance between the lens and the screen. This will give approximate focal length of the given convex lens. Determining the focal length of convex lens. Place the plane mirror on the horizontal base of the iron stand and keep its reflecting surface upward. Keep the given convex lens on the plane mirror such that its principal axis is vertical. Fix an optical needle which the clamp of the iron stand so that the needle is in the horizontal position above the lens on its principal axis. Move the optical needle up and down so that the tip of its image coincides with the tip of the needle. Remove the parallax between the tips.
No doubt the distance between the upper surface of lens and tip of a needle using a plumb line and meter scale and take this as D1. Note down the distance between plane mirror and tip of the needle and take this as D2. The mean of two readings would give the value of focal length of convex lens. That is, F is equal to D1 plus D2 by 2. Determining the focal length of plano concave lens formed by water. Fill the space between plane mirror and the lens with water. Use a dropper for this purpose. Adjust the needle so that the tip of its image coincides with the tip of the needle. Remove parallax between the tips. Measure the distance D3 between the tip of the needle and top surface of the lens. Measure the distance D4 between the tip of the needle and plane mirror. The mean of two readings would give the value of focal length of plano concave lens. That is, F dash is equal to D3 plus D4 by 2. Observations Result Refractive index of given liquid with respect to air, that is, NWA is equal to 